The surface of the Earth, the crust, is comprised of a number of tectonic plates, which are constantly moving slowly at about the rate your fingernails grow. Most volcanic activity occurs at the places where these plates meet, the plate boundaries. The large layer of rock beneath the Earth's crust is called the mantle. This is mostly solid, but in certain places it can melt to become magma. This causes volcanic activity. At mid-ocean ridges, tectonic plates move apart. This creates space for the mantle rock below to rise. As it moves upwards, the pressure on the rock decreases, allowing it to melt. When the magma reaches the surface, the ocean water causes it to cool, creating giant pillow-like formations of a rock called basalt. These rocks make up most of the sea floor. At subduction plate boundaries, a thin oceanic plate slides under a thicker continental plate. The oceanic plate is saturated with water, which it drags down into the earth. At around 60 miles deep, the water trapped inside is released, which reduces the melting point of the surrounding rock, allowing it to melt. This melted rock cools as it rises. Different minerals cool at different rates, and one of the last to cool is silica. The magma which eventually reaches the surface is silica-rich, which makes it thick and gloopy. Because the magma is so thick, the gases released on melting get trapped in large bubbles. When one of these reaches the surface, it bursts. This is what causes an explosive volcanic eruption. There are also a number of so-called volcanic hotspots, away from plate boundaries. Here, mantle rock is melted by a plume of heat originating from deep in the earth. The Hawaiian Islands were formed over one such hotspot and still contain the world's most active volcano, Kilauea.